Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm going on a hike today to a place in South Jerusalem, but to get there we have to go through the Mesila, which cuts through Jerusalem. So we're currently there. We're going to check out the uh, zoo by Malfa and maybe check out the surrounding hill territory. So around the way it's about 45 minutes from the first station, which is where the, the Mesila actually starts, all the way to uh, the end of the Mesila, and then we'll cut across there to see what else is on the other side. This is after the end of uh, Parc Ama. You can see Teddy Stadium is here on the right and it splits into two. And if you take the left of those two turns, it goes through a tunnel. And we can see ahead of us here, there is actually, it's a biking trail, um, but lovely olive trees. And you can see on the right here, there is a uh, egg depot for the buses. And that overpass, is Kvish Yishim, also known as Kvish Aminerot, which, as the traffic is going right, is heading out towards uh, Gush Etzion. But it's built on a lift, so I think this little trail is gonna go over it. And then there's some high territory ahead of us. This is, these are hills, which you may explore. And on the other side of that high-rise ridge is actually uh, Bethlehem. So there's a little ridge high over South Jerusalem and then Bethlehem, which if you look on the map is really confusing because it's technically the two cities almost connect, but for obviously for geopolitical reasons, they can't connect and they're separated by a wall and a checkpoint. But if it wasn't for that, they'd kind of almost become one city. So you can see those hills, the road signs and all the other stuff. There's snow days this year. It's getting a bit of uh, video of those houses up there. Those hills are spectacular. Oh, you know what? I think that was Bobby just recently. Yeah. I don't remember being all burnt out last night. Yeah, charge. Yeah, totally yeah. So we're on the trail now on the outskirts of Jerusalem and what is in front of me here you can see it says in the uh, lettering or the signage Jerusalem Malka. So what we're looking at here is the original station for the old Jerusalem to Malka train, sorry, Jerusalem to Tel Aviv train that took a long time. It took about two hours and it was incredibly scenic. But since the fast train from the newly built uh, Navon station to Tel Aviv came on the scene, this uh, line was recently retired. But you can see it's not, it's not like the other parts of the Mesila historic train. It's very much until very recently was fully operational. And this was the train station and the train would go out of here and wind through these valleys through Batir and make its way to Tel Aviv and some people would take it just for fun because it was so uh, scenic and now it's uh, as you can see pretty much empty although the signs are still up there so now apparently it's a hiking route so you can go through uh, Batir and through the other parts where the train formerly crossed um, on foot these hills in front of me this leads up to Gilo and you can see in the distance there on the right or maybe you can't see but those houses there would be I think in Hargilo which is an Israeli community over the Green Line. And then just over that ridge again, so two more ridges from here, is uh, Bethlehem. So that's where we are here on the edge of Jerusalem. And we got to this point through following the whole lengths of the Messi La Park. I'm with a friend today. And uh, we took a turn off to the left and that brought us out to this track. And actually it's still going here. So we're going to be kind of meandering here up and through these hills. So we are now continuing on the trail. Uh, this is the road that leads out to the checkpoint at Al Walaja. It's one of the checkpoints leading into Jerusalem. And these are the trails that run up the hill to Bethlehem. We're not actually going to go on them today. Um, as you can see, they're kind of, this is the way they look. But uh, parallel to this road is the checkpoint. And turning left equals turning south. And if we climb up this, climb up this hill far enough, we would get to uh, Beit Jala, which is a part of Bethlehem. 
and a little bit further to the uh, west we get to Alwalaja. So this is overlooking the Malka Technology Park, that big toll built center. And this is where I think the Honduran embassy is. It's also a high-tech complex in Jerusalem, which is a office space basically. And just above it in the distance is the Holy Land project. Quite controversial high-rise real estate development. So we're actually on such a height here that we're overlooking Malka from a hill. So we've rejoined the actual trail now, which is good news. And we're actually, uh, some kind of concrete path we're walking towards Gilo in fact where the road we're on is going to take us up to Gilo which is one of the ring neighborhoods of Jerusalem far south there's also Har Gilo um, which is even further south but uh, who knew that these this is really my first time hiking I'm by no means a veteran hiker in fact I'm a total newbie I'm here with my friend who knows a lot more about this than I do as you can see he's got a hiking pole uh, uh, he thinks he knows more Oh, he has a GPS watch, he knows what he's doing. So we're uh, going up here and it is, uh, I thought it was fit because I've been doing like these one hour bike rides during the week. But my fitness has been totally challenged by the steepness of these uh, hills. So this is not the Israel National Trail. This is not the Jerusalem Trail. This is just a random trail. Some recommendations based on uh, what I've learned so far. If you're hiking these hills, A, bring a lot of water. B, don't go hiking when we did at 12 p.m. in the Israeli summer because you'll be very hot. C, bring sunscreen. And that's about it. Get, try to be in some kind of shape before you attempt these because uh, it ain't easy. But the views we're getting here, overlooking South Jerusalem, overlooking Malka, overlooking all the other stuff going on here. They're building the way out of Jerusalem. They're currently putting down another... Uh, like a rail network, they're really, really something. So you're definitely rewarded for your effort if you come up this way. Another point of interest from up here on high, looking over Jerusalem, you can see where my face, I can't really zoom on this particular camera, but you can probably see it because I'm shooting in 4K. You can see the old train line meandering there out of Jerusalem. And you can get a sense for just how beautiful it was because it's going straight through those valleys. And it just goes on like this for miles and miles, all the way to finally getting to Yaffa and Tel Aviv. Uh, it felt like you're in a Harry Potter movie. Sad they haven't kept it going just as a tourist attraction. Viewing Jerusalem and you can see the stadium there in the distance. That is uh, Teddy Stadium. Next to it there is a big stadium. Craft Stadium, I believe. No? Pi you... Stadium. Pi stadium. stadium. And this is actually where I got my first COVID vaccine. They were using it at the start of the COVID outbreak for vaccinations because they just needed it anywhere that would fit a lot of people. This is the start of uh, Gilo, the bus stop. And at the top of that hill, there is a little uh, recreation area. So the elevation gain is about four to 500 feet over the course of a mile, which is quite a lot. And took us about 20 minutes, I think. Probably felt longer to get from the bottom by Malka all the way up here to Guido.